What's up guys? So I want to talk about the babies in Death Stranding. Now Death Stranding is one of the most confusing games so I really want to try to figure out the plot. I believe that the babies will have connections with all of the characters appearing in Death Stranding, especially in these two trailers, Norman Reedus' character and Guillermo del Toro's character. But anyways, let's just get right into it. So to start things off, I want to discuss the Norman Reedus' baby. Um, we see in the E3 trailer and I want to discuss the doll we see in the video game awards trailer so when Norman Reedus wakes up the first thing he does is runs over to the baby after he spots it and starts embracing it um, almost as if he was searching for the baby for such a long time for it to only get snatched away from him moments later and then five beings appear in the sky Four of them seems to have their arms crossed and one has their arms in the middle of them. Now what I believe is happening here is that the one in the middle is the leader. I believe he's the leader because of his pose but also he is holding Norman Reedus' baby and then he begins to disappear out of the sky. I believe the plot of Death Stranding is to retrieve this baby because this baby is something special. What's special about it? I will talk about that in a little bit. Going over to the Video Game Awards trailer, we begin to see a doll that's floating down a tunnel, um, eventually going into the sight of five figures that appear at the end of the tunnel, with the one in the middle being their leader. It almost looks as if the baby is in some type of pain. We hear slight screaming in the background. We, he we see the baby's eye begin to twitch. We see the leader's face. His face seems to be recovered from the oil that was there. Now maybe the oil is some type of battle damage, but I'll save that for another video. So I believe that those that the baby that we see in the very first Death Stranding trailer is now snatched away by the beings that were in the sky, transported to the world that Guillermo del Toro's character is in. I believe that the figures actually grab babies and they turn them into this doll-like state, transporting them to another world so that the leaders of these little militia groups, it seems like, can actually absorb them and use them for energy. Now, in terms of protection, I want to go over to Guillermo del Toro's character now his baby seems to be in a pod i believe that the pod is some type of encasing to protect the babies from these beings these beings seem to have the ability to appear wherever they want so you need some type of protection and that's why i think that guillermo del toro's character is clutching the egg and clutching it and clutching it and clutching it he seems to be very very protective we even see a part in the trailer where he takes his own umbilical cord and puts it inside the baby and then the baby becomes conscious this is also why i believe the babies are connected to the characters we will get to know in the story guillermo del toro's character seems to look at the camera at the same time the baby's character looks at the camera almost as if they're having the same thought process going on and with the doll that we see floating down the stream it seems to have a cross in the middle of its belly button or a plus sign and Norman Reedus's character also has a cross or a plus sign where his belly button is supposed to be so I think that the beings take the babies turn them to this doll like state and transport them in an area that is close to the leaders of these militia groups that we saw in Guillermo del Toro's trailer to be used as energy of some kind. Perhaps this explains Guillermo's very protective nature that he is in. He's afraid to go down the tunnel because maybe he's afraid of what he'll find. You know, he's afraid of the soldiers that's on top of the bridge because he doesn't want his baby being taken away. Now. That brings up the argument, are the babies and the characters the same person? I think 